Many years ago, on Christmas Day, when the village was covered in a thick layer of snow, a photograph was taken of Pelsall's first school and St Michael and All Angels Church. After viewing the photographs, some time later, the photographer was stunned by what they saw. The photograph in this article is probably the most talked about and closely examined ghostly photograph from any of my ghost books. The photograph appeared in Ghosts Around Pelsall back in 2010. The photograph, which was taken on Christmas Day, appears to show what is regarded as a ghostly Victorian teacher. It could be said that this is not so strange when you consider that this building was a school in the Victorian era. In 1845, an application was made by the church to the National Society for a grant towards building a school in Pelsall with an attached residence in which the master could live. The new school, which was to be situated next to St Michael and All Angels Church, was to accommodate 133 pupils and the common was to be its playground. This establishment was called Pelsall National School and was described as being small. It had narrow windows, was heated by open coal fires and was lit by oil lamps. According to records, there were 180 pupils in attendance at the school in 1865. The children were taught by a master and a mistress. By 1899, the staff included Miss Polly Thompson, Miss Anne Smith, Mrs Brownridge, Miss E York and Miss M Mercer. Miss S Wildig, Reverend W M Clemson, Mr W. H. Brownridge and Miss A. Brownridge. Miss Bertha Garfield, Mr Charles Hodson and Miss Jenny Bill. Who can be seen in the photograph? In 1895, these school children were dressed to perform a musical whist with living cards at Pelsall Hall in order to help raise money for Sister Dora's Walsall Cottage Hospital. Despite the photograph appearing to show the ghostly image of a Victorian teacher, as far as I'm aware, no paranormal activity has ever been experienced in this building. However, I am aware that numerous people have managed to capture strange images in the windows of this building, some of which have been taken during my ghost walks. With curiosity getting the better of me, about five years ago I took some photographs myself since so many people appear to have managed to capture something in the old school windows. I then went inside the building to find out what could have created the images people had captured and found that the room was neatly organised with conference tables. Later on that day I examined the photographs that I had taken of the window in question. To my surprise, within my set of photographs it appeared that I had also captured something. The image appeared to show what looked like a skirt and the boots of someone who seemed to be dangling from the ceiling. As said before, I was aware that there was nothing in the room to create this image. I was perplexed by this very unsettling image which I could make no sense of then or now. I have no idea what holds this spirit to this building or who she was, but I can't help thinking that some of these images are trying to tell her story. If you have ever experienced paranormal activity in this building or know of something strange that once happened here, Please let me know.